Hola amigos, hola amigas. Welcome, bienvenido, croix sui salam. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chesh, jack, chimash. Today we're back with another new retro gadget. So as you'd have seen from the intro and everything, I have this. Now let's bring you down closer. This is a USB cassette capture, easy cap, audio. Convert your old mixtapes and cassette to MP3 to play back on iPod MP3 player or burn to CD. Plug and play USB device, no drivers required. Audio output enables you to listen on your headphones or other speaker system. Compatibles with Windows, Windows and Vista, Vista Windows 7 includes audio editing software. So this is a little bit old. <laughs> um, I've not tried it. I mean, I've tried it just now before I did the video and I was surprised. I will tell you that, but I won't give away everything yet. USB-C cassette capture. Install application, connect to the computer, capture and edit audio, output to iPod and iTunes. So system requirements, package contains the cassette capture, the which is the cassette player, uh, user guide, USB cable, software CD and earphones, and a 3.5mm to 2 RCA cable only for blah, 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 2MB. So this is the cheaper version, so it doesn't have that. Made in China. So... Let's open the box. Inside we have the cassette player, or as they call it, the Super USB Cassette Capture. We have the USB cable. We have some headphones. And we have the disc, the program disc, installation CD. And we also have here some instructions hmm right okay so it comes with a program what's it what is it audacity so it's got audacity i've heard that name before audacity i don't know where Right, we don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need the headphones, we don't need the USB thing, although we will in a minute. Let's open up the packaging. And basically, that's what we have. Super USB cassette capture, auto reverse stereo, hi-fi, mega bass. On this side, we have the headphone jack, we have the USB connector, the volume, the opener for the lid. Uh, this side we have the DC three volt input, nothing on the back. On the front we have stop, rewind, so it does have a rewind, fast forward. This little button then makes, uh, you can either just play it or you can play it in loop. So it will play in, oh, it has auto reverse. And you can also change the direction. But that's, uh, I'll show that to you in, in a bit, the direction. And this big chunky button on the top here is play. Now the feature that I do like about this is if you push the little button on the side, ka -chung, it flaps open, literally the whole front of it you can see in this fetching shiny plastic. You can see the motor, you can get really easy access to the heads and the pinch rollers if you wanted to clean them. I don't know anything about this particular head but it does have it it is a four track i can see so that's why you can play it in auto reverse battery compartment is here two batteries which i shall pop in there we go clip it down and that's basically it so we need to get a cassette so let's pop a cassette in. Let's close the lid. Let's press rewind and it's rewind. No auto stop when you're doing force forward or rewind. So let's press play. There we go, it's starting to play. And the one feature I absolutely love about this is this. You 
can play it with the lid open so you can see the cassette, which I think is fantastic, especially when I am playing one of these, these like skeleton cassettes, clear plastic ones, that's pretty cool. So what you want to do is if you want to play in the opposite direction, you push that button there and it'll start playing the other side for you. If you then decide that you want to continue playing the other side, back to the original, there we go, it does that for you, which I think is pretty cool for a new, new um, cassette, uh, a new disc Walkman to be able to do that. I think it's pretty cool. You press stop, you can rewind, you can fast forward. Press stop and then just take out your cassette. So, let's get my YouTube cassette, which is transparent. So you can see it like that and then press play. I love that feature. I think that's really cool. There you are, tape going around. And you can see everything, you can see its entire workings. I don't know of any other player that does that. Uh, I, I, probably there are. But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Right, let's press rewind. There we go. Let's get some sound. So I'm gonna use my nice um, Bose one because that gives off good sound. And let's see. Plug it in, switch it on. Plug it into the side of the player. Now I'm not, this is, like I said, I've already played this, played with this. So I'm, I can't tell you, but let's press play. Got this out the front open. That's with the volume at max. And there we go, back onto playing it on auto reverse. Or if I turn that off, get it to play the other way again. End of the tape. And stops so for a cheap player it's got some really good features on it for the um, continuous play and the and the directional now the sound on it isn't that good because I've been playing this cassette which was which is recorded it's not an expensive tape it's a it's a cheap tape so it's not gonna have amazing sound but if I were to play a new cassette a newly brought out one of slightly better quality i can't play it there, there is a bit of a hiss unfortunately i can't play this Morning. 
So it's not amazing, I will admit that. There are better sounding cassette players out in the market, but when it comes to actually new players, they're pretty appalling. But if I used my, when I used my nice headphones, these Sennheiser ones, the sound on it was really good. When I tried, when I used the, the Sony ones, they were pretty good. The sound was pretty good. But when I used my really, really nice headphones, these ones, the sound on it was really good. I mean, it was, it wasn't, <laughs> I'm not an audiophile. It wasn't amazing, but it was a heck of a lot better than some of them that you can get that I've seen on videos today. So, I really do like it. If I, I really do. I, I can I can say if you if you're not in if you're not really that fussy on um you know having the toppest quality if you want something to start off to play with on with these, I can say get one because I really like the features of it and with a good pair of headphones it doesn't sound half bad. It really genuinely doesn't sound half bad. It's not amazing. And all the music experts will be like, no, it's rubbish. But it's really not that bad. So what I'm going to do now is see if I can connect it up to my laptop. Okay, so I've got my MacBook here. This is no means a new one or anything. This is an older one. This is from 2012. Uh, it works absolutely fine for me as a laptop. So... Let's get the USB cable. Okay, I plugged it in. Let's plug it in on the side. Now, I'm not sure if it's supposed to. I can't see any button or anything on it that you have to switch it over to USB. Maybe this isn't compatible with um, Mac. Didn't mention anything with Mac on it. Okay, so what I'm actually doing now is installing Audacity because it's Audacity um, that does it on here. Let me download this and see how I get on. So no, unfortunately, it is just simply not recognizing this device at all. No acknowledgement that this advice as a device exists. I just cannot find it. It will not search for it. I've tried the different ports and unfortunately, it just will not find it. I do have on my old um, PC, my old laptop, my old um, Windows. Um, and I will try it on there, but it's not working on the MacBook, which doesn't surprise me. Even though I am a Mac fan, it still doesn't surprise me. So, let's get back to this little device. So, I've tr used it and tried it, and I have to say, I really do like it. Um, it's not the most amazing one out there. I don't know what the software is like, but for a little modern player with the direction um to have it on loop to have fast find refill forward and stop all in one little package that is pretty good to find these days so i personally can recommend this if you go and have a look for it like i said don't hold your hopes up too high because it is really hard to get a decent um new cassette player on uh, these days because they're just not making them so to have something with the four track on it is for that price that is pretty good very short one for you today so i hope you've enjoyed and uh yeah happy listening and i'll speak to you in the next episode bye y'all